Come on. I'm not gonna help you. You need to get a running start. Go over there. I'm not gonna pick you up. You're a big boy. Okay. Ew. Do you see that? That is all pug snot. Don't you dare chew off his eyeball. We're back, the headless YouTuber and her <laughs> trusty pug pudge. So today I am filming a video that I have been dreading and unfortunately this is going to have to take place over a few days. I made a massive mess in Nick's house trying to get thrips under control. It's just been sort of a frantic time for me because I found thrips at my house. I'm filming multiple projects. I'm working. It's just been very stressful. So today I'm just, I am feeling a bit under the weather. I just, I really wish I could just lay in bed. I'm really tired. I'm craving pickles, uh, not any, like any kind of pickle. I'm craving Clausen pickles, the one that's in the cold aisle. The one that is just the crunchiest of them all. Claus and Pickles reign supreme. They are the best. And I woke up this morning and just had a disturbing, disturbing craving for them. So I texted my husband and asked him if he can go on a quest to find me some Claus and Pickles. And I am hoping that he doesn't come home without them or else I will be very upset. <laughs> but anyway, no matter if I'm feeling like crap, I do have to pop over to Nick's to clean his exos. I have to see where we are with the thrips damage. And I'm gonna take you around, kind of show you what I've done so far. The goal is to at least get the exos cleaned get all of the thrips plants quarantined in their own areas and get them out of the living room space. And I did tell Nick he had some casualties. A lot of his plants are gonna be chopped back when he gets home. Um, I had to throw out some plants, but overall I feel like it's kind of good that he went on this trip and that he comes back just kind of with a fresh start, a fresh slate. All the, the plants will be in a more manageable state. Hopefully I can get things in a place where it'll be easier for him to treat for thrips. I just, I just want to get his apartment looking decent again because I did make quite a mess in there. After I give you guys like the full tour of like the things I'm gonna show you, I'm probably not gonna talk much. I, I just, I really have a lot of cleaning that I need to do. I'll try and throw up some blurbs on the screen to kind of give you a walkthrough of what I'm doing, but I won't have time to keep like charging and sitting in front of my camera and all of that because it's already almost three o'clock and I have to be back in time for the premiere of my video going up today because I'm gonna get on the, the live chat. So I only have a couple hours to be down there and then I've gotta be back here and uh, cook dinner. So with all of that said, <laughs> With all of that said, sorry, I just read a funny comment. With all of that said, I am going to go downstairs and please wish me luck. I am not looking forward to this video. Usually I like cleaning, but I'm not gonna lie, this is not the kind of cleaning that I like to do. It's not, it's not. I gotta go to your Uncle Nick's house, babe. I'll be back tonight, okay? Oh, excuse me. I'm out of breath because seriously, every time I walk from my unit to his unit um, on, the, on the floor below me, I always feel like there's a ghost. I don't know why, his hallway creeps me out even though it's literally the same hallway. So anyway, this is his guest bathroom. Um, I can show you this because there's really not much in here. All of these plants have been uh, hit with thrips and I'm telling you guys, it happens fast. All of these plants have had thrips and I just decided to quarantine them in here while I treated it and I just moved a grow light in here. I did some major trimming. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a hot mess. Here are his exos. Uh, this exo up here has thrips, 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 no thrips. This one doesn't look like it got hit too bad. I did find thrips on this Gigantium, which I treated 
I was a little bit nervous that it was in the same XO as this one because this is his like prized possession right now, which for good reason, it's beautiful. His Florida Beauty is also in here. So I do have to just hit this one more time with another um, thrips treatment, but the goal for today is going to be to clean this top XO, maybe this second XO, and then I want to get, sorry, I have to cover the lens again because I don't want you to see this apartment. These are all the other plants that have also been affected by thrips. It's bad, you guys. Um, I've even been finding thrips on some of the plants in his living room and I think they traveled from here and this new leaf came out despite being really, really thrips ridden, but I do see some predatory mites at work, thank goodness. The goal is gonna be to try and move some of these bigger ones with thrips into the shower where he can leave it long term for now because I don't like the idea of it being in the living room with all of his other plants that don't have thrips. I think the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is cleaning this exo so that I can start loading plants in there and I can get the shower cleaned out. And just keep in mind, these angles are probably not going to be ideal because again, I'm trying to only show the areas that have plants. I don't wanna show too much of their space, but I'm gonna try, I really will try.
It is a wreck. I have an idea of what I wanna do in my head, um, but I hear uh, Flo's voice in my head saying he hates it, he hates it, he hates it. I keep second guessing myself and it makes me nervous that when they come to see it, I'm already gonna be on my way to California so I can't talk Flo through it. And it is a big change, honestly, like it's a huge change, but I don't know, I felt like uh, the corners looked a bit cluttered and it's just a lot against the brick wall and he has a lot of smaller plants that don't really have homes. They kind of just shove them like next to the couch and stuff. So I'm trying to find a way to accommodate all of the plants and still make it a functional space. One thing that I like about the couch being moved up a bit is that the couch is actually centered to the TV now, whereas before it was pushed this way and there was kind of this like weird excess gap over on this side. So now it's all centered, but the couch is moved up like, I don't know, a foot and a half or something. And I don't know, I would kind of like to see it behind these couches. So it's kind of like a plant wall it's like a plant wall along this side here. Um, I just think that Flo is gonna think it's too much or it's too big of a change and he's not used to it and I get it, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't really know what other plants I could put there that would make sense. I was thinking maybe more smaller plants along this side because he definitely has enough to fill it. I just don't have like something to elevate the, um, the plants to the same height as this. So that is the issue right now, but I don't know. I didn't want to have to table this for tomorrow. I really wanted to finish this today, but I am starving. I'm so hungry, I'm tired. So I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. I'm probably not going to record myself in the process because my battery is gonna die, but I will keep you updated.
Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm exhausted. I have not cleaned like that in a long time, but I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the stuff that I did and um, I'm going to have Nick and Flo watch this video before it goes up just to make sure that they're okay with everything I'm showing. What I did in this living room is I obviously moved the couch up about a foot. I put that table that they had here that I think Flo wanted to sell it because it used to be over here, but then he got the red stuff, so it kind of got misplaced. And it's a beautiful table, so I, I really didn't want to see Nick have to sell it. So I pushed it behind the couch and hopefully they don't mind it here. I moved a lot of his succulents and cacti over there. We have his big glorious and Albo over here. Knowing Nick, he's going to rig some crazy <laughs> grow light setup over there, but I'm gonna let him do that, that's his thing. The green Congo that was on top of the fridge is now in this corner and now it has a lot of space to grow and get taller without hitting the ceiling. And then in this corner, I kind of just shoved everything together to make it just look like a like a jungle corner. Everything is kind of where it was before, to be honest. The only thing that I added, or I just moved things around and then I added this Mexicanum there. I moved the golden pothos that was over here, over there. And I just felt like, oh, I'm gonna fall. I just felt like it was a little bit heavy in this area. So I moved this planter to the center of these chairs. Um, just to kind of make it a little bit lighter and then this Monstera that was Over here in their temporary work from home situation is now in this corner and um, I put it at an angle so that you can kind of Enjoy it from all angles and it doesn't just look like a random Monstera that was plopped there, but Overall, I actually really love the way it all came together. You can enjoy the plants a lot more this way and uh, yeah, hopefully everything works out over here. On this side, we have snake plant land and he had a bunch of these random snake plants like on the side of his couch and just in random places. So I decided to put the whole team together and now we just have an area for snake plants and then you guys saw that I gave the red stuff a little bit of a clean. I didn't tell you guys this as I was cleaning it, but this all has thrips. So he's kind of quarantined all his anthuriums that have thrips into this red stuff, which was smart of him to kind of contain them. Didn't do a lot in the kitchen, I just tidied up. And then this is where that display was previously. And the reason that they had such an elaborate sort of plant set up on this window is because they're pretty close to the ground floor and so there's not a lot of privacy. You can see everything through these windows. So um, they put that little plant wall there, but more recently they got these um, frosted covers on the bottom windows, so they don't really need it anymore. So I just figure those are lower light plants that should do okay over here. This is a big east facing window. Um, and then I just moved some of his random plants that were that were on top of the red stuff um, to this windowsill and I gave it a good clean and I don't know, I feel like it looks a lot more bright and airy in this corner now. It doesn't look so walled off and, and dark. So hopefully they like that. So we are in the plant room and honestly, all that I did in here uh, were give the exos a good scrub down. If I had more time and I wasn't leaving the country soon, I would have scrubbed these down a little bit more, like try to get these hard water stains off the top of the um, exo lid. But I gave things a huge chop. I chopped so much from these two exos because they were just infested with thrips. Just knowing Nick, I don't think that he would have had it in him to take on that battle. So. I mean, I did the hard part for him. He hates chopping plants. He hates throwing away plants. Whereas for me, if I know that it's a bad thrips infestation, I have no problem um, shaving the collection down. So I did give everything a massive chop. He has a lot of space in here now, a lot of space in there, but all of these plants are gonna have to be quarantined for a long time. I'm glad that the plants in here were not affected by thrips. I didn't find thrips on any of these. Um, and a lot of his uh, prized possessions are in here. So that was good. I did treat it with a little bit of systemic just to keep things the way they are, 
but otherwise just kind of repot a few things, cleaned it up, and everyone seems to be really happy. This was the only XO that I didn't clean. This is, I call it his swamp, and it looks very swampy, but everything grows so well in here. I'm not even kidding. So I think that this is something that I'll tackle with Nick when I'm back home, just because I don't know what these propagations are. I don't know if he's propagating for friends, so I don't want to have to, I don't want to make any decisions for him. So I'm just going to leave it, but everything seems to be pretty okay in there. I do see some yellowing leaves, but I think those are just older leaves. And then the last place that I'm going to show you is the bathroom. Flo is going to hate this, but I didn't really know what else to do. If you guys remember, he had all of these plants out in the living room to, to isolate and um, get out of the exos that didn't have thrips. But I did not feel good about leaving it out there for the three weeks that he was gone because all of the plants here that have thrips could easily transfer to his plants out there that don't have thrips. So I kind of just got them in here. I figure that it's, they don't really use this, sh I don't think that they use this shower because this is a two bathroom unit, but I just figure it'll be easier for Nick to kind of treat for thrips in here, keep an eye on them rather than have them in the exos. Uh, I got them all set up with what I feel is enough grow lights. In here are a lot of the cuttings that I took from his plants that are infested with thrips. A lot can be propagated. I don't know if he's willing to take that on, but I'm gonna let him make that decision. I didn't wanna just throw it away. Otherwise, I have advised Nick to keep everything in here for at least another week or two so that he can keep an eye on it, and then he will get these back into the plant room and the exos that I cleared out for him. Anyway, I am actually really surprised that I was able to get all of this done by myself and I did it and I'm super happy. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of relieved that I'm gonna be out of the country when Flo and Nick come home because if they hate it, then at least they can't they can't catch me. <laughs> uh yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go catch up with Pudge and we will bid you adieu. Hi. We are rejoined here by the world famous Pudge. Pudge, you don't have a middle name. Interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there wasn't a lot of talking in it. I just really wanted to get things done and I just, I can't even tell you how relieved I am to have finished all of that in three days, but I probably will pop in there a few more times before I actually leave for my trip just to do some watering, fertilizing, more thrips checks, and uh, yeah, but for the most part, it's all set and he's probably he's probably gonna leave things the way they are, although if I had to make an educated guess, Flo's gonna move some stuff around. But you know, it's their place. Um, I tried my best. Flo, if you hate it, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm just glad it is done. I am so, so tired. My body is just aching. I probably burned a lot of calories, which is great because I'm probably going to eat a lot in California. And when I mean eat a lot, I mean eat Panda Express because that's truly like the only thing I'm excited for, which is so gross, but I just love Panda Express. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Still got lots to do for my trip. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a peek at this cute little face before I ended this video because hello, look at it. Pudge has decided he doesn't want to be in the video anymore, so I will say our goodbyes. Thank you for watching. I hope this video comes together. No clue what it's going to look like, but hopefully you get the idea of what's been done. Um, I hope to not do another video like this for a long time because I don't think that my body could take it. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching another one of our videos. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me. Thank you for anyone that's new here. Paj and I appreciate you very, very much. And we will see you in the next one.